Welcome to the Lightroom preset pack by Duxon. Here I have a selection of images taken with different light scenarios and I'm now going to show you how the presets work. So the images were taken on a tripod. My son here now takes the pictures by pushing the button on this trigger. But most of the time I have it in my hands. Somewhere here hidden. And here are the images unedited straight from the camera which already look nice. And I'm going to show you how I edit these images so they look even better in terms of how the editing is done. Okay, so this is us as a family. Images taken from the tripod. If you wonder who took the images, it's, it's me here with the remote control. And so let's just take one image and edit it. Here I have the presets. So all these presets you see here are in the preset pack. And what happens is when I go over one, then you see exactly what happens to the image if I were to press now on the preset. And so let's start off with maybe a sepia look. So I click on sepia vibe, make the image a little bit darker, just like this. And then I go to the next 10, 15, 20 images and click synchronize, click on everything. And now all the images down here will be synchronized in the same look. And I only need to make it brighter or darker. And I have my finished images edited in a really nice sepia look. And this is how I edit actually every image, no matter which category of photography I'm in, whether I photograph buildings or real estate photography, whether I, whether I photograph weddings, whether I photograph family pictures like we did here in the park. Um, editing is done super quickly as I always uh, also take the images super quickly. So I believe in quick and easy and doing this in flow. So editing is I select a preset and then I copy that preset to all images and this is then how it looks and I only need to make it brighter or darker or straighten the horizon like this. Okay, so let's say I don't want to have a sepia look, let's choose a color look. So let's just, let's just stay with these images that we have here. Let's go up to here. So let's say I don't want sepia, I want color. Okay, so let's go through these presets and you see exactly what you get when you hover over these presets. So let's just choose any of these presets. Maybe we go with this movie start. Can make it a little bit darker. And now I synchronize it again. Everything is clicked. And now down here all these sepia images will be turned into colorful images just with the click of a button. And now I can go through these images, straighten the horizon a little bit and make it brighter or darker. And then I kind of have my final image. I can tweak it a little bit here and there. If it's too warm, I can slide here. Here I can decide, do I want the image to be warmer or colder? I can synchronize again actually. And now what my what I changed is now applied to all the images. And you see it's a very different look that the images now have than compared to the sepia look, which looked really kind of old. And now it's much more modern. But I think also the, the old look fits really nice, the scene, the sepia look with the, with the stroller here. But also the color images look nice because it's a really nice sun in the background and you see the, the springtime and we can choose any preset here. Uh, most of them will work with just a little bit of changes. They can also choose a black and white one. So let's just go maybe black and white burn. And let me click on synchronize again. And now what happens, all these images that we took a look at, they are now all turned to black and white with the click of a button. I synchronize that edit to all other images and I only have to make it brighter or darker. And this is how you can super quickly edit any kind of image. You have a variety of presets here that work, nearly all of them work great for people photography and some of them work great for landscape shots. So for example, let me show you these two, Malarai 1 and 2, they don't work great for people, but they look really nice for landscape shots. But most of all other presets here look, work really great for photographing people. We can choose another preset. Let's go to Valeria maybe to get a different color look. Let me synchronize again 
to everything. So all these images now turn from black and white to the color edit. And the colors now look very different. When I go to before and after, you see left is the unedited one, which looks nice already. And right is the edited one with the Valeria um, preset. And if I say I want it to be warmer, I just push the slider here, maybe synchronize again. So now all the other images will also be warmer. And you get your own look depending on which look you like most. You can have very different colors, you can have very natural colors. And depending on who's your client, depending on what you photograph, you may differentiate the images depending on what you want. Maybe you want images on a wedding that are very powerful with the, with the warmth. Or you want images that are really cold. You can get images super quickly just with the push of a button. And you have a variety of looks here that you can apply. This was just one example that I wanted to show you from a photo session that I did. This is me here with my girlfriend and my son. I never had images with my family, so I thought let's go out and try some, try to get some images sh with the tripod. And you see actually here, somewhere here is the image also with the tripod. So you see all these images were taken pretty quickly. Uh, but I think we got some really nice shots here. And this is the way how I edit it. We can also take a look at other images here. So maybe this one where you have the direct sunlight. This is the unedited one. Let's go to another image, maybe Coloria. Make it a little bit warmer. And this can be now applied to the previous images or the next images. And when I go now to these images, I only click warmer, uh, brighter or darker. And I have my final images. Now with different light, because now is the sunlight directly coming to the face. And when I say I don't like this look, I can change the look and go to Claro, for example. Or go to Heaven Up. Or go to Movie Start. Or go to Napoli. I can choose the look, depending on what kind of look I want. And this is how it looks like. Let's maybe do this one again. So you see the different looks that you can create on all kind of sun situations, whether the sun is in front of you, whether the sun is behind you, whether the sun ain't even there and everything is in shade. These presets work for kind of every situation and you decide which look you like and you can choose them pretty quickly and you are kind of done when you click on them. I've also created a video where I go a little bit more deeper into how I um, how I edit images. But I wanted to give you a look of what you can do with these presets. These are the presets that are in the preset pack. So you get exactly these. Uh, and these are all presets that I use for everything that I do, whether it's wedding, photographing people on the streets. Whatever I do, I use these presets. And I hope I can give some value to you that the editing part can be done pretty quickly and you have more time to go out and shoot or spend time with your family. Thank you very much.